Have you ever lost your keys, your wallet, or even your luggage and thought, there's got to be a better way to find this? Well, there is. Today we're going to talk about Bluetooth Tracker, those little devices that help you find your stuff, and how they use something pretty amazing called crowdsourcing to do it. You may have heard of names like Tile, Apple AirTag, or Chipolo, but did you know they all work quietly connecting to millions of nearby phones? Stay with me because by the end of this video, you'll know how much invisible network helps find lost things, what's changing with Google's new tracker system, and which device might be the best for you. I'm Ron Brown, and this is Tech for Senior, where we help seniors understand Bluetooth tracking so they can find their luggage when they go on holidays. So we'd sure appreciate that like and subscribe, and let's get on with the show. A tracker is a small Bluetooth device that you attach to your keys, your purse, or you put in your backpack. Each one sends out a tiny Bluetooth signal, like a digital whisper, that nearby phones can hear. But here's the cool part. It's not just your phone that can help you find it. It's every phone around you, all working together. That's the idea of crowdsourced tracking. It turns every iPhone or Android phone into part of a giant, invisible search team. Think of it as a worldwide, lost and found, powered by people who don't even know they're helping. Sort of a weird idea, eh? <laughs> so let's break it down step by step. The tracker emits a Bluetooth signal. Every few seconds, it pings nearby devices with an encrypted ID. Nearby phones detect it. Maybe someone walking by a coffee shop or you're passing through an airport. Then their phone quietly hears the signal. The phone doesn't know whose tracker it is or even what is found. Everything's anonymous and private. When you open your app, like Find My or Find My Device, it shows where your lost item was last seen. So even if your tracker's far away, maybe it's in another city, someone's phone nearby can help you find it. That's the magic of crowdsourcing. So let's look at the power of crowdsourcing. Crowdsourcing simply means many people contributing small bits of help to achieve something big. When it comes to trackers, every smartphone that's part of the network becomes a helper, quietly relaying signals as people go about their day. That's why network size matters so much. If you're in a busy area full of iPhones, then AirTags can update their location within seconds. In a quiet rural neighborhood, it might take longer or not update until another phone passes by. It's an ingenious system, low power, private, and incredibly effective when the crowd is large. So let's talk about two big names, Apple AirTag and Tile. AirTag uses Apple's massive Find My Network, hundreds of millions of iPhones, iPads, and Macs around the world. That gives it an incredible reach. If those AirTags anywhere near an iPhone, odds are good it'll show up on your map. And with Apple's UI chip, you get precision finding, an arrow on your screen guiding you right to it. Tile, on the other hand, works across both Android and iPhone, but its crowd is smaller because only people with the Tile app can help locate your item. That means in rural areas or small towns, AirTags generally perform better. So in this one, AirTag has coverage 
and accuracy. Tile wins on compatibility. It works for everyone. But both rely on the same principle. The crowd helps you find what you've lost. So we've talked about Apple's AirTag and, of course, Tile. But Google has a new network called Find My Device. And although Google doesn't actually make trackers, there are other companies now that are using the Find My Device network. And two examples of this are Chipolo and Pebblebee. So let's talk a little bit about Google's new Find My Device network. Now, this is where it gets exciting. Google has finally joined the game. They've launched a new Find My network that lets Android phones work like Apple's detecting Bluetooth trackers nearby and sending the data back anonymously. Right now, companies like Chipolo and Pebblebee make tags that connect to this network. It's still new, so coverage isn't as strong as Apple's yet. But it's growing fast and it works seamlessly across Android phones. And here's the neat feature. Some of these tags can switch between Apple and Google's networks. So if you switch phones later, your tracker can come with you. Choosing the right tracker. So which one should you choose? If you're in the Apple world, get an AirTag. It's simple, powerful, and precise. If you're on Android, consider Chipolo or Pebblebee tag. They're built for Google's new network. If you're in a mixed household, one iPhone and one Android, a dual network tracker like Chipolo POP may be best. Or you can choose the Tile Tracker, which works on both the iPhone and Android phone, but only tracks if you have the Tile app activated on your phone. Also think about uh, replaceable versus rechargeable batteries, loudness of alerts, and if you need special shapes like a slim card for your wallet. So some other things to think about in your purchase considerations. All right, let's talk about privacy and safety. Because these devices are crowdsourcing, privacy is so important. Apple, Tile, and Google all randomize IDs and use encryption. If an unknown tracker moves with you for a while, your phone will warn you and trackers will chirp if they are separated from their owner too long. So it's a balance, powerful technology, but with strong safeguards built in. But I have made a little video now I want to play that will help you stay safe while using trackers. All right, let's talk about a piece of technology that's so small you can lose it in your couch cushions, but it's got this, well, this kind of split personality. On one hand, it's incredibly helpful. On the other, it's genuinely dangerous. We are, of course, talking about Bluetooth trackers. I mean, who hasn't, right? We've all had that heart-stopping, sinking feeling in our stomachs when you realize something important is just gone. And that's exactly the problem these tiny gadgets were built to solve. Their promise is simple and amazing. Find anything, anywhere. Now, the two biggest names in the game are Apple's AirTag and Tile. And the way they work is the key here. AirTag is brilliant because it taps into the massive Find My network. It basically turns every iPhone on the planet into a search party for your lost keys, which gives it a gigantic advantage. Tile, on the other hand, is kind of like the Switzerland of trackers. It plays nice with both Android and iOS through its own app, so it's a great option if you're not all in on the Apple ecosystem. So here's how we're going to break this all down. We'll kick things off with the promise, all the cool stuff this tech can do. Then we're taking a hard right turn into the peril of unwanted tracking. We'll look at how these things are weaponized, how you can find a hidden one, and finally, what the industry is doing to try and fix this mess. So what's the magic here? It's really all about crowdsourcing. Your lost tracker sends out this little secure Bluetooth ping, and any phone that's part of the network, an iPhone for an AirTag or a phone with a Tile app that happens to pass by, it anonymously picks up that signal and tells you where it saw it. It literally turns the entire world into your own personal search party. Pretty cool, right? Okay, but this is where the story gets really dark. You see, the very same features that make these trackers so great for finding your backpack, 
they are tiny, the battery lasts forever, and they have these huge networks, well, those same features make them a perfect tool for stalking. When the thing being tracked isn't a set of cheese but a person who doesn't want to be followed, convenience becomes a weapon. And don't think this is some rare thing. The scale of this problem is just staggering. 1,400. Just let that number sink in. That's roughly how many unwanted tracking alarms are sent out by just one of these detection apps every single day. This isn't an edge case. It's a widespread daily threat. And behind every single one of those 1,400 alerts is a real person with a terrifying story. Just take a look at this quote from a Reddit user. This is the human side of it. This is what it's really about. Control, fear, and a complete invasion of someone's safety. So where are these things being found? Well, if you guessed the car, you are absolutely right. Overwhelmingly, by a huge margin, over 70%, the car is the number one spot. After that, you've got the usual suspects, backpacks, purses, things like that. Basically, any place where a tiny device can be tucked away and go completely unnoticed. But it gets worse. It's not just about hiding an off-the-shelf tracker anymore. Stalkers are actively modifying them, making them even harder to find and way more dangerous. They're actually breaking open the hardware to get around the safety features that are supposed to protect people. One of the most common and most chilling modifications is just silencing the tracker. And what's really scary is how simple it is. We're not talking about some sophisticated software hack. You literally just pop open the case, use something to pry out the tiny speaker, and then snap it shut. That's it. And just like that, the one audible warning that's designed to let a victim know a tracker is nearby is gone. It becomes silent. And of course, the attacks are getting more technical. Some attackers can actually clone the tracker's software, creating a kind of ghost tracker that your phone's automatic alerts can't even see. Others will mess with the link that pops up when you scan a found tag, redirecting you to a malicious site to try and steal your passwords. It's pretty devious stuff. Okay, that's the threat. It's serious. But you are not helpless. Knowledge really is power here. So let's shift gears and talk about how you can fight back, how you can actually find a hidden tracker and take back control of your privacy. You've basically got three main lines of defense. First, and this is your phone doing the work for you, are the automatic alerts. Both iPhones and Androids are now built to warn you if an unknown tracker seems to be moving with you over time. Second, you can be proactive. You can download a manual scanning app and actively search for trackers around you. And third, and you should never underestimate this, is a good, old-fashioned physical search of your stuff, especially your car. And if you do suspect there's a tracker on your car, here's a quick checklist. Grab a flashlight, check the wheel wells, get underneath and check the frame, feel around inside the bumpers. And on the inside, check that little OBD2 data port under the dashboard. That's a sneaky spot. Look under the seats, in the console, even inside the spare tire area in the trunk. You have to be thorough. Now, this isn't a problem that any one company can fix by itself. Think about it. An AirTag on an Android user or a Tile on an iPhone user, these situations created huge, dangerous blind spots. The industry finally realized they had to work together on this. And this right here is a really big deal. For the first time, Apple and Google, you know, two of the biggest rivals in tech, are actually teaming up to create a new industry standard. The whole point is to build a universal system that can detect and warn you about unwanted trackers. And it won't matter what brand of tracker it is or what phone you have. It's a massive step toward closing these dangerous safety gaps. So this all leaves us with one final big question. We live in this incredible world where tech gives us these amazing conveniences. But we have to keep asking what the hidden cost is. Our devices are fantastic at helping us find the things we've lost, but the real challenge now is figuring out how to build a system that helps protect us when we're the ones being found. So in conclusion, next time you find your keys, thanks to your phone, remember it wasn't magic. It was millions of people's phones quietly working together to help. That's the beauty of crowdsourcing. It connects us even when we don't know it. If you enjoyed this, hit the like and subscribe button for Tech for Senior and share this video with a friend who's always losing their stuff. It's Ron Brown. Have a great day and we'll see you soon.